Okay, L let's I mean, just find you, out from him then if you could give us a moment uh, to bounce okay, this off. No, I mean, fine. you were in that meeting. He says let, let you're aware. Me. So what? Thank you very much. Let, let me say this: that um, as a sociology student, we understand the importance of holding on to culture. And in African, you give respect to an elderly person. You don't say an elderly person is a liar. It is highly unfortunate that the commissioner will come out and say it, that I was there at the briefing, agreeing Wait, to you that. So you were not part of the students that were there? I wasn't. And no executive or members of Olabisi Olobanjo University Student Union Government we in that meeting. No, he didn't talk about the briefing. I think he's talking I, about I'm the... starting from there because he mentioned it that I was there also. Just, just you a remember? moment. Okay. I, I think he's referring to... Sorry, sorry, Commissioner. I think he... he, he, I, he said I, it. Don't, 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 don't... Just, no, just hold on. Let him okay. clarify. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Commissioner, uh, please. Hello. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Am I on? Yes. Yes. You see, I didn't say it was at the, uh, the day that we briefed the press please. on the reduction, but okay. it was at the previous meeting. Of course, we expected him. He was telling us he was on his way. He was in his way. He will call. So many phone calls. He said he was coming. But we wouldn't wait for him. He was out of 10. Nine, nine, nine were there. And so many students, over, over 100 students were there. Apart from the student union government, I mean, uh, union leaders of all remaining nine uh, special institutions, we were calling him. So, Mr. Aldebar, are you saying that, just let me get you here. We didn't start the briefing until about 4 or 5 p.m. Were you then referring to the briefing? Were you saying that they were all there at the briefing and they agreed? Was that what you were referring to? Exactly. Only him that did not, did not come on that briefing. We waited for him. We didn't start that briefing until about 4 or 5, 5 p.m. Okay. Okay. All right, just a moment. What happened to you on that day? The truth is this. There wasn't any time that I was called for any briefing because we never agreed. The last time that we met was on Saturday at the legislative quarter of Tola Banjo, the deputy speaker, the Tola Banjo. And the last thing that I said there was that this is what we are offering. Just like you have principal officers, let me go back to the student. We are having a congress on Monday. Then I'll come back to you, tell the student, this is what government is offering, this is what we want. But looking at this and that, Okay. What were you referring to when you said that they had said you don't attend meetings and so you decided to attend that last one you attended? Yeah, sometimes they will call that uh, I should be coming to a okay, Kemosong, you know, meeting Taliban Joe's house. <laughs> I have, this is for my issues. It is, you invite somebody to a meeting at night if it belongs to any campus. So I don't, I, I don't have to attend that meeting. Did and that's why I don't, I don't go there. Did every other student union president attend? You see, some do attend, and that's why these issues like this. You know, student movement is dying, or is dead, or is no more alive. But me, I know for sure that something is happening somewhere. You know, just like those who belong, who knows about issues like when it has to do with students, we, we tell you. Because look at, imagine, uh, out of, out of, Ten schools, you know, you are saying that the other nine agreed. It is only. Okay. But let me let me let me let me say this again. We are in 2013, 2014 academic section. Other schools in Northern states are just ending their own. They've paid, they've done examination, first semester examination, and they are just about to do the second semester examination. But on our own situation, or rather in our own situation, we've not paid. We've not done any examination. We are even just receiving lectures. Which semester? First semester, 2013-2014. And let me, let me say this, that there, there was an agreement that a junior then was coerced into signing of 20% uh, increment you know, that the government do use sometimes. When they signed their agreement, the implementation start with immediate effect. If you are announcing a reduction, is it logical that it start with immediate effect if we want to accept that even the governor reduce it on an human level? The agreement is or probably, you know, at the belief is students cannot pay this. If you are now reducing it to ensure that students pay, 
you now say next section. Now, how will they pay this section? So should they apply for leave of absence and go back home? Then when they get to 2014, 2015, they will now come back to school. It doesn't, it's not, it's illogical. And it's very, very embarrassing that the, uh, the, 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 the commissioner being a barrister, saying that students express themselves peacefully is wrong. We express ourselves, despite the fact that the special advisor to the governor on student affairs, Mr. Ike Chuku Clement, arranged some Apollo students to come and attack us, in which they injured two of our students, Omaki and Omolade, who were treated at uh, FCM in Idiaba. With, with receipt, we remain. You, you, you did not vandalize at all. anything. Let me even add this do, to it. Do, Let do, me add do, this. Do you, do, you have any the time, do you have any proof to that when you say we have, he, we have the ID card of the students? No, no, when, when, we, you, we, when you say he organized uh, some hoodlums against the, the students. He, he, when he came to our, to our union building, uh, when this thing started, and we are both talking about it, at the Senate where we sat down, he said, then, if you turn it to off, I don't have any off. He said it, and everybody was laughing. Let me let me let me land. Let me land because when he was saying his own, at least he get to a, to a logical end before he stopped. On that day of the protest, the protest started well and it ends well, despite the fact that you know they arranged some boys to come and attack us. And the plan was to sleep at Okemoson in front of the governor's office in a peaceful way. And we were there laughing. Everybody was playing. Those that are playing football, we are playing football. You know. And we, there was a security information that they've arranged some, some men. You know, I don't need to be saying this. You know, every school has some men. If you arrange some men, some men will tell the other men what is happening. And it happened. And, and because of that, we called the NSC that won't come and sleep over in their building, you know, their secretariat. But they declined. Then we called CDHR and they allowed us. And that's why we moved to CDHR that night okay. to sleep. Now, the second day when the protest continued, after the, the, the governor came to us to address us, you know, asking us to move to, to the building, to the stadium, to address us, we agreed. He said he is not aware of one or two things, that we should give him one week. Now, we gave him one week, you know, and uh, during that, at, at, that, at, that, at that time, a, a lot of, uh, I asked the security people that they are stalling our students, that they should please use, they should barricade our students for us, and which they did to show that we were from the beginning peaceful, in the middle peaceful, till the end. But it's now un unfortunate that even after that one week that Mr. Governor acts publicly in front of media with more than 2,000 students to look into our issue on Saturday, what we heard is shutting down of the school without right. the governing council. Because it's only the governing council that can do that according to the law of the school. Let's get uh, uh, Mr. Dubella to respond. Mr. Dubella, we have to get a solution yes. to this now. What, how would you respond to what he said now? Well, let me say that um, uh, Mr. Shegun is not uh, completely saying the truth at all. You see, it is not correct to say that um, others have completed the 2014 session. Yes, A lot of some will finish in December some November, and their own is January. And we all agreed at the meeting that we will commence this reduction in 2014-2015 session. I mean, if the government has reduced by as much as it's one percent, and we all looked at the cost implication to government, which is over two billion naira. I mean, and um, efforts are being made now to even go back to the house to take the necessary steps so that we could have those funding. So if out of 10, they are the only one, and why did they protest before the reduction? How come that the protest was after the government have announced that reduction? So that is the explanation. That is okay. that uh, things that we still need to, they need to tell us. Yes, you, you, you stated this now, but... As I said, we have to get a solution to this now. What would you suggest? What should be done in finding a solution to this? Well, like I said, the government, we're, looking, we're looking at this, the situation again, and the situation will be reviewed. But like I said, there is no way we, when they came to Abeokuta the last time, it damaged so many properties, taxi, uh, private vehicles. I mean, that is not the way to say you are, you are protesting. 
and then you are now damaging government property. You are damaging. Uh, you are damaging. Many people were injured. That the government has to pay millions of naira to take care of those that were injured. Okay, is, so, is the government, government going to schedule without... another meeting, inviting them to participate, and then you discuss this over uh, the table? Well, just like I like I said, the government is looking at it, and I'm sure at the appropriate time, the, the situation will be reviewed and the steps will be taken. Do, do we have an idea of when this appropriate time will be? Well, I, we will... We, we, we will discuss it. Uh, you know, the governor is the visitor to the university, so I'm sure that uh, very soon uh, he will summon uh, all the stakeholders again and will review the situation. All right. Uh, we have to thank you, uh, Mr. Shegon Dubela, Commissioner for Education in Ogun State. Would you be willing thank to... Thank you very much. All right. Would you be willing to attend the meeting if they call for one? If they call for one, we will always be ready to go. But our own challenge is that from the onset with what is happening now, it's obvious that the government is not sincere. If a governor came outside with more than 2,000 students, with medias, and said, students, I don't know some sentence about this issue. Please give me a week. I will respond to you. And students agreed that maybe sometimes as a leader, you may not know what your uh, subjects are doing that let's give him a week. And we, we decided to leave, to suspend the protest and go back to our class. Monday, nothing. Tuesday, nothing. Wednesday, nothing. Thursday, they call a meeting. We get as, to Okemoson at exactly 9.05. From 9.05 to nothing. On Friday, we went again, nothing. Then on Saturday, what we had is shut it down of the school. We are all human beings. How can you not trust that, that government? When a governor. All right, we'll have to let it go here, but uh, we will always uh, stay on this matter. Yes, and hope that uh, both parties will come to an agreement on this one. Thank you, if I the only Thank you very much for having me. Student Union you President of um, Alabisi Banjo University for coming on today. We'll be back after the break. Join us again.